think some of the language can make it feel like, oh, well, I'm just about to like sit and meditate and manifest. And like, this is just about to drop into my lap. Like, no. Hey, creators. Welcome back to the studio. <laughs> I'm Aramis, the artist, y'all. The math ain't math, -y. <laughs> okay? Focus on the art, they say. Don't worry about the business, they say. <laughs> Let me, <laughs> let's keep it all the way real. Look at her with her curls. See y'all, this is my, it don't matter, whatever. Hey, okay, like, let's get to the meat of the matter. So, if you've been following my journey for a while, then you know I've been in this like transition point, like phasing out like the journals, the sort of small merchy items to really focus on like the fine art side of things. And I think I said in one of the vlogs, like focus on grants, whatever. Okay, here's the thing. Like I just, I just want to put this out there because I want to be real on this journey and this transition. First of all, I think fine artists are broke. Like, like can, 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 we, can we be real? Can we, can we be real? I think a lot of them are, <laughs> hey, we keeping it all the way real, okay? They either broke or have other side jobs. Like, let's just be real because when I be looking at people's accounts out here, clicking links, doing all sorts of different stuff, I'm like, hmm, they not selling shit. <laughs> No, they not, they not marketing, you know? And so what's crazy is like I've slowed down marketing, sort of like my shoppy things. And yeah, the shop hasn't been shopping. <laughs> like, let's just be 100% real on that. And so my income has been reflecting that. And I'm like, ooh, okay. Man, like should, should your girl get, get back out here doing the different things? But here's the other thing that I realized that, yeah, there is gonna be a transition point in my career where it's like, yeah, you can't, you can't just like blink your eye and wake up one day and do a completely different thing, you know? And so I'm just trying to be patient on the journey. <laughs> I don't know if, like, let's, let's have a conversation. Y'all, the studio was kind of coming together. Anywho, y'all know how I feel about the, the power of words, okay? Let me raise y'all up. So, I'm be cognizant of my language, okay? A girl is never broke, okay? She is an infinite source of abundance, period. I'm a master manifester and I'm a miracle maker, okay? But can we, can we have a real conversation though? Because I feel like with the sort of manifestation, law of attraction videos out here, when you talk to a single mom, from the south side of Chicago, you get real grounded on like, cause like, y'all, I'm just so over the internet lies, okay? Like, I'm over the internet lies. I'm over 22 year olds talking shit in their bedroom in their mama's house. How they live in soft life and how they didn't manifest it. Yeah, you can live a soft life. You ain't got no mortgage. You, you, you ain't got no kids. You ain't got no bills. Like, can we can we stop? Can the kids be quiet? I'm sorry. <laughs> Y'all, I went back home to the shot and like, shout out to my girls. Maybe by the time this vlog is up, like y'all would have seen the Chicago vlog. Super fun. I think I was talking about like advice I would give like my younger self or something. And y'all know I don't have kids yet. Like me and Andy, we don't, we don't have kids yet. But when I be talking to my girls, like a lot of my girls from back home do have kids. They are single moms. And so like when I be thinking about some of the shit that you sort of see or hear on the internet, I'm like, yeah, no, this is this is not applicable to my girl. Okay. Like, she get, she got two kids, she a single mom, she trying to like live life, she trying to put food on the table and like with with some of this stuff out here, it's just like, you yeah, know, yes, we can all manifest. Yeah, yeah, we trying to like manifest money. I'm about to make money, <laughs> okay? Cause like, first of all, like to me, manifesting and making is like, they not, the thing, here's the thing y'all, I feel like the internet will make you feel like they are two separate things and they really not, they're similar. The way I manifest, is being guided by my intuition. Okay, so it's like, if I, if I get the idea to launch a product, if I get the idea to reach out to somebody, like, 
Okay, traffic. Yeah, if I get any of those inclinations, I do them. So it's actually very like action oriented. And so I think some of the language can make it feel like, oh, I'm just about to like sit and meditate and manifest. And like, this is just about to drop into my lap. Like, no. Now there are opportunities where it's just like things that have just happened that I could have never even formulated in my own mind. But when I really like pull back the layers of it, like when I like really got strategic and like, got off whatever little law of attraction cloud that I was on, it still really came back down to me just like reaping the fruits of my labor. I planted seeds years ago. I, you know, made a video years ago, put out a newsletter, made, painted a mural years ago and somebody saw it and stumbled across it. It's like a friend recommended me to a friend or like whatever. Like it was literally still something that I had already put into the universe and now I was like reaping that, you know? And like how it says, you reap what you sow. So it's like, if you don't sow, you can't reap anything. And I think with some of the sort of manifestation language, it feels very passive to me and it feels like, oh, we're just supposed to let stuff happen. I'm not a part of that camp at all. So the other thing, cause I've been, y'all, I've been, I've been feeling some type of way. I've been feeling some type of way. Financially, it's been on a decline, first of all. First of all, my patrons ain't never about to have me out there like that because like the patrons are holding me down and that is why I just love Patreon so much and like love patronage so much because it's like that consistent income you can really count on. So like, yeah. And like, let's, let's also be real now. I'm married. I have a whole husband. Find you, no. <laughs> hey, they got the, what's the internet trend now with the, the stay at home girlfriends? Hey, somebody done figured out the game. <laughs> Are you, what are you saying? Like what are, y'all, let me not. So let me be real. It's like, I just want, because I know people are watching my videos. I know, I just don't wanna, y'all know how I feel. I'm always about keeping it real. I'm always about being honest. The other thing is that I do believe in privacy. I don't think that you have to be like transparent with every single issue you, you like going through on life. But when people are watching your content and making decisions in their life based on what they're seeing that's going on in yours, I like to be honest with people and be like, boo, we, we might be in two different situations. Okay. So it's just like, I don't want people to be out there comparing their situation to me because I know sometimes I get caught up in that trap where I'm comparing comparing other people's life to mine. And I'm like, girl, this, this girl is 23, sitting on the floor <laughs> in her childhood bedroom. Like, stop, stop, okay? Don't get confused out here. Ground yourself, figure out where you are and like what you doing, you know? So I always just, I always just like to check in, y'all. Y'all know I, I just, I just like to check in. And so in this transition point, Yes, my sort of manifestation is very action oriented and very like intuition guided. Also at the same time, it's knowing like the laws of the universe, okay? Like you can't, you can't plant a seed and expect to see the, the growth of that the very next day. That's just not how it works. So in that process, I'm thinking to myself like, okay, if you transition it right now, your income is gonna reflect that transition. So that's okay. So get into alignment with figuring out different sources of income or different ways to reach out. Yeah, I was just watching a documentary about Georgia O'Keefe and she is just like, man, she's incredible. When you look at these documentaries of like historic artists and stuff, they literally had patrons, they had sponsors, they had somebody who invested in them and like really helped them throughout their career and yeah, like shout out to her husband. Like, I mean, unfortunately he was a cheater. <laughs> unfortunately he had a mistress and like the whole thing. But you know, I'm not, that's clearly that's terrible. Like clearly he shouldn't be cheating on her, you know, but I'm saying like it definitely helped having a business partner, helping somebody promote her while she was able to be an artist. And so that's why I sort of tugged the line of wanting gallery representation or like wanting something because just like being an independent artist is just like, I'm super grateful for it though. Oh, shout out to Naomi. Naomi Cannibal, I think is her last name. I follow her on YouTube. She did a commentary, a video about independent artists, but like in the music industry. And she talked about like Chance the Rapper, Tanashi, um, yeah, like all these different independent artists. And like, yeah, it's nice to be able to have that sort of creative freedom, but just like we're doing so much of the business and the marketing and the shows and the, yeah, we're just, we're just really doing a lot. The thing is, 
gallery representation or whatever, that's not a magic pill either because they are trying to sell your work. So it's like, if you don't sell a painting, then you still aren't making any money, you know? So I think that's the importance of having multiple streams of income, having patrons, having, um, you know, doing like, doing different things. But you know, but to tell you the truth, I think that was part of the thing that was getting me lost. I was just doing so much, trying to have all these multiple streams of income so that I could be good and I could be, and it just ended up being hard to manage. So I think now what I'm really about to do is just completely trust completely trust that I'm able to do this without all the extra frill, frills and thrills, you know? Like I feel it, I feel it, I feel it y'all. I feel it and I see it, I'm seeing the fruit of my labor. I've been applying for stuff y'all like, oh, I think I was mentioning this before, look, I didn't forget. I think I was mentioning this before about um, the grants and stuff. And it's like, yeah, you can apply for grants, you can apply for different art awards, but they're just really competitive. You know, it's not guaranteed to get them. And it's just so I feel like for the longest, I was focused on ways to where I could make money on my own. Like, hey, I ain't about to worry about these organizations. Like, I'm about to, I'm about to do it on my own. I'm about to grind. I'm about to like put myself out there and just like do what I need to do. And clear, clearly, that has gotten me very far. That has gotten me very far, and I'm really proud of how far that I've come. I think I just want to be like real about how much of a toll that it's taken on me. Um, how much of a toll that has taken on my creativity, my, you know, my mindset, my mental health. Um, thankfully, not my physical health. I feel very strong. I feel very, like, I feel very blessed. I truly feel very blessed, and I want to honor that. Like, I want to want to honor that. I want to heed the warning signs now. You know, like, we see different videos of creators with burnout and, like, just being, just being over it, you know? And I don't feel like I'm there yet but I feel like if I keep pushing, I would get there. So I wanna heed the warning signs now and make whatever shifts that's needed in order to make it happen. When in doubt, <laughs> whole SpongeBob. But you know, the other thing that I was just thinking is having multiple income stream coming from like a lack mindset. And I don't think like, let's break the, let's talk about this because I feel like some of the shit just be like having you out, like some of the advice be just about having you straight out on a limb. And I get it, that's part of it. Like, oh, you gotta trust, you gotta let go, you gotta, the faith, you gotta, it's like, I get that, but I'm also very guided by the laws of the universe. Like, yes, law of attraction is, a, is one of those, law of assumption is one, yes. But also I see those laws based on nature and nature is the ultimate multiple streams of income like biodiversity is the ultimate pillar of of our planetary abundance like literally they talk about this in agriculture that's part of the problem like what's going on with our corn is that now we only have like two to three different two to three different species of corn but years ago we had so many different strains so many different entities so it's like the vulnerability point is that if you just only have one type of corn if one of that type of corn gets a virus now it infects all the corn that's on planet earth and now you are at a vulnerable state because now you only have this one type of corn and it's the same way with like multiple streams of income the how they say don't put all your eggs in one basket if you only have one stream of income now once that one goes Goes away you end up being messed up so i definitely believe in having multiple streams of income but i think what i'm realizing now is that all of those can't be like active streams of income like all you can't be trying to put marketing energy behind all of those like that's why i i get the whole passive income i kind of don't like that term but i get it now like okay you can't there's some streams of income that you put active energy into marketing campaigns photo shoots spreading the word you know facebook ads like those are like active forms of in income but when you think of like passive forms of income like yeah even for like youtube channels yeah like we put links in the description you know where people could just click so that's not like an active something where i'm putting all this effort and energy into it it's like okay i'm already making this youtube video my links are already in my description so it's like yeah if somebody just so happens to go down there then like great you know if somebody go down there, great. I don't even have affiliate links in my thing. Mine is more about like my shop and Patreon. But anywho, yeah, but like I get it now, you know? And like you sort of hear this different stuff from people and online. You know, you hear people say, oh, there is no such thing as passive income. Like everything you have to work for, like everything you have to. And it's like, I was kind of one of those people like, oh no, you got it. But it's like, no, nah, 
when you build up your stuff to a certain level, there is a way to have passive income. Now, I think that every source of income is gonna take energy at some point and definitely in the beginning, those aren't passive in the beginning. But once you put it out there, then it's done and now, Y'all was looking at my analytics and I was like, man, this is crazy that people are still watching videos that I made like three years ago. It's really crazy. I was also looking at my analytics and saw that about 40% of y'all not subscribed. It's disrespectful. <laughs> If you want to subscribe, I would love that. But if not, like, live your life, boo. I like to publicly and openly process. One, it helps me. Two, I feel like it helps. It can help y'all as well, you know. But so, what's the game plan? Here's the plan. Now, what I do resonate with in like the sort of manifestation videos is having having that good vibration like feeling the energy feeling the emotions of, of your abundance like being in that high vibe space and so whenever i am like in a slump or feeling like man looking at that bank account <coughs> you know it's like okay we're not we're not about to worry about that number what we are about to do though is bring the vibe being a good energy because like when you whenever you radiate that that's when that energy like comes back to you you know and so and it was crazy like whenever i look back on times when like my funds isn't lining up or like the monies isn't looking good it's usually because i've been in this like like this like restrictive place like i haven't been sharing online or i haven't been talking to people or i haven't been hanging out i haven't opened up myself but i haven't opened up myself because i felt in a place of lack like i felt like this restrictiveness like i needed to sort of protect myself and so recently i kind of have been feeling like socially exhausted you know of course, traveling, seeing family, and just so many different things. I have been feeling like a little socially drained, so that has like cut me off a little bit. When part of your income is like showing up and connecting with people and like replying to your emails, <laughs> replying to your DMs, like, yeah, if you go like a week without doing that, well like, yeah, I'm in control of that. Like I have literally cut off a source of stream of income if I'm not opening my inbox and actually connecting with people. And it's crazy, like, <laughs> I was just checking my email this morning and I was like, there's literally like five people right here who like literally want to give you money. They're trying to figure out, girl, how can I give you money? And I'm the one over here just like in my feelings and my thoughts, like, man, like, you know, I'm not selling as much on my website and like, I'm really trying to transition and like, oh, I applied for these art grants. I haven't heard back yet. Like I shut myself out. Like I put myself in this own cocoon. And so what really helps me is like living in the vibration and living in the energy of the end in mind. Like it's already done. Like I'm already on a high vibes. I'm already abundant. I already have as much money as I need, as many collectors as I need, as many sponsors as I need, as many, like I already have it. It's already done. So when you already have have that you're not really worried about like okay what's what's the strategy how like what's what's the marketing plan how am i about to figure this out you know it's like now i can just create you know like i can i can i can just create i can just be and i can just connect with people from this genuine place and not this sort of like manipulative place because like you know when you like like man y'all like desperate energy is like ooh, people can feel it from a mile away so it's like when you when you just operate from that place like boo i already got it like it's good you know like it's it's good like no worries no pressure we good you know versus like hey just just following up just by, just just checking in you know now hold Hold on, let me let me take a minute because let me, let me take a minute because I do believe there's fortune in the follow-up. I think that a lot of people aren't following up enough, and I think they're following up from a place of fear because they don't want to sound like they, you know, being clingy or like whatever. Like, no, y'all, I think that's a smart thing to do. Like, whenever I followed up with people, they've been like, oh girl, thank you so much for the reminder. Like, oh, I've been I've been thinking about that painting. I'm actually moving right now. I'm in the middle of a move. There's so much stuff going on. Thank you so much for your patience. Like, they be apologizing to me. I'd be like, girl, like, first of all, thank you. Okay, I was just I was just following up. Like, nope, you don't gotta apologize to me. Like, I'm good, you know. So I do I do believe in power following up okay so I don't want to make that seem like following up is desperate energy because that's not what I'm saying at all to me it's all about the tone it's all about how, how you carry yourself it's all about the energy that you are genuinely exuding you know and so yeah I just like 
I want to keep exuding that abundance and radiant energy while still knowing that manifestation doesn't happen on the meditation pillow. Like it, it happens through interacting with people. It happens through socializing. It happens through connecting, being in the emails, being in the DMs, going out to the events, socializing, you know, like that's that's literally a part of it. So yeah, I'm just, I'm just doing a juggling act. It's wild because part of me be thinking like, am I being too, am I being picky? Am I being too particular? You know, because like there's different opportunities that's come in my way and I've just been turning them down. I'm like, that's not really what I what I want right now or like what I'm looking for right now. So part of me like, girl, like do what the fuck you gotta do. Like get off the games, like whatever, you do you be in particular. But the other part of me is like, no, I think we should be more more picky in life. Like you literally only get out of this life whatever you accept. I've just been on a journey of getting as particular and as specific in this life as I want because you literally get what you ask for in this life. And yeah, if, you know, doing my business in one particular way isn't serving me anymore, I'm about to get real clear and real particular about how I want the future of it to be. We have not because we ask not. So I'm asking and I'm also getting very clear on what I'm asking for, you know? I think by the time y'all get this, soon we're gonna have to start installing for the show, installing for the museum show. I gotta get this painted again. Okay, so cool. You know the other thing, <laughs> I'm not repeating my own narrative because we talked about that, right? We, we, we broke and free from our story book. But the other realization that I had, it's like, girl, you tripping that you haven't really had sales on your online store. Okay, what, granted, I get it. That used to be my primary source of income, my online shop, but I haven't promoted it. Like I, have, I haven't marketed it. I haven't done anything. Like I was literally making an attempt to not market or promo my shop because I want to position myself in a different way. So it's like, so of anything, <laughs> mission accomplished. Like what are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> mission accomplished this. Like you literally was trying to do that. So if your goal isn't to have online sales be your primary source of income anymore, then why are you upset that you haven't had a lot of online sales? And I get it, like that used to be my primary source of income, whatever, but now I'm shifting my energy. I forget. Let me call them. I keep forgetting to pick this shit up. I'm literally gonna go tomorrow, y'all. Like, I promise you. Thank you for calling FedEx office. Please choose from the following options. FedEx office, it's Julian. Hi, Julian. I placed an order on Canva for trifold brochures. I wanted to come pick those up tomorrow. I just wanted to check on the status of it. I'm coming up to the 30 day mark. And so I just wanted to make sure that they'll they'll still be up yeah, there. Hold oh, you all hold them for 90. Oh, that's great. They look great from the design perspective, right? But I could have used a better picture. So it got it kind of blurry. I don't know if y'all can see that. Like you see how the words are crisp, but the picture is blurry. I mean, it's kind of vibey. <laughs> Ooh, you can't see that. Okay, it's kind of vibey. Like I'm a little blurry, which is kind of a vibe though. I feel like the girl's been kind of having it blurry and aesthetic. So I'm kind of here for that. Um, yeah, and the power of patronage. So y'all like your girl is really building up the Patreon community. And you know, what's crazy is like, I feel like growing a Patreon community in person is honestly another incredible way that you can build um, patrons because I feel like, okay. It's interesting, like when you promoting Patreon on YouTube, it's like a different vibe. I don't 
know, I'm, I think maybe just from the stuff that I've seen is that it's a lot of YouTubers who are promoting, who are like giving you more access to more content and more like YouTube videos. Like, oh, like a behind the scenes vlog or like behind the scenes, whatever, which I think is great. That's all beautiful. I was doing that too. I was providing like bonus footage and bonus videos for my patrons. Um, at the end of the day though, I'm just getting real that like your girl wanna paint. Like she she wanna paint. And also my patrons want me to paint. Like my, I feel like, I feel like, man, I just, I love my squad. They like, girl, don't be out here stressed with all the other bullshit. Like girl paint at, at the end of the day, okay? So yes, I'm still gonna continue to provide them with like, you know, bonus behind the scenes stuff, but that's not really the stuff that I want to be like selling or promoting. Like, oh, join the Patreon so that you can get like exclusive access. Whatever. Like, no, like if you want to support what I'm already doing, then like, cool, gang, gang. Like, you know, <laughs> become a patron. But, and so I feel like those are the people who, who I actually meet in person at like art shows and different events and stuff. They're like, oh, this is an artist. I want to support her and her arts and her creativity and not like, oh, let me become a patron so that I can get like a BTS vlog which adds more like work to the plate, you know? But y'all know that I love editing, so it's not really even a big deal for me. But anywho, so where are we headed? We are on the way. Y'all, life is crazy, <laughs> okay? First of all, stay ready so you ain't gotta get ready, okay? Your girl was getting ready. She all cute, whatever. I was on my way to Capitol Hill anyway to go to Blick to go get some canvases because you got my feet. Look, speaking of painting, okay? Like, is that why I'm in a vice? Is that why I'm in a She's in a vice because she's created, okay? Yeah, so I was, um, pretty much today's like an errand day. I'm running errands and I really don't want to mess up. Y'all, it's hot today, so you might hear the AC. Like, your, your girl's just hot, okay? <laughs> I was on my way to Blick anyway, and like, I got a call from like, like a friend that I haven't really talked to in years. And when I say years, I mean like eight years, okay? I hadn't seen her in probably over eight years. We had met up um, again for the first time. Whatever art show that was, I had met up with her. So I was like, oh my God, Angela, like, hey, you know, hey. So at the art show, we had exchanged numbers. We was like, yeah, you know, let's stay in touch, whatever. First of all, if you know me, you know I don't pick up phone calls, okay? Text me, <laughs> text me, okay? If you are calling me, it's a sign of disrespect. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm, if any of my friends are watching, y'all, I need you to know I'm kidding, but like they kinda know though. Like they know to text me and schedule something. Like we we schedule catch up calls, okay? Cause everybody doing their own thing, but anywho. So she randomly called me out the blue and I was texting my mom because, y'all know my mom, <laughs> she's hilarious. We was sending each other memes back and forth. So literally when Angela called, I already had my phone in my hand and I was like, Angela's call? I was like, all right, let me pick like whatever. Like, let me see what she up to. So I picked, I was like, hey, she was like, hey, I'm so surprised you picked up. I was like, yeah, me too, because I was this close to not, you know. She's doing this documentary, pretty much like a documentary of local black artists around Seattle. And she was like, yeah, one of the artists just just dropped out. Like, yeah, can you come? And where they're filming is literally in Capitol Hill, like across the street from not across the street, but like down the street from um Blick Art Supplies, where I was literally about to go up there to go get some canvases. So I was like, yeah, I mean, how long is it? 20 minutes? Cool, let's do it. I run up there, chat. Y'all know, look, your girl be out here chatting. I was already getting camera ready. You know, she got a little curls out. So I say, stay ready so you ain't gotta get ready. <laughs> okay, like, your girl, your girl ready. She stay ready. Yeah, so that's where we at. Okay. Um, you want to say hey to the people? No pressure at all. Oh, absolutely. Say hey, y'all. This is Angela. Hi. Hey, y'all. Where can I'm people Angela. find you? Oh, you can find me on Instagram. I'm at AfroBeatnik. Hey. hey. Wait, let me see some goodies. Oh, Set the vintage. Yeah. Oh yeah. Not this one. This is just one. Oh, we're in the way. Yep. My bad. <laughs> nope. I get it. I know. I. It'd be me. I'd be getting excited. Oh, nice. I have this a trench like that. <laughs> my coat that I wore here. <laughs> back 
Man, y'all, that was so dope. Man, I'm just so glad that Angela hit me up, y'all. That was just like, and it was crazy. I ran into Moses. If y'all saw the Black Lives Matter mural vlog that I did like years ago, Moses was one of the artists who uh, painted the Black Lives Matter mural with me, a part of Vivid Matter Collective. Yeah, y'all, it's just like, it just worked out so perfect. And um, so Malika, she is the founder of Black Arts Love. And so, man, that market is just so cool. And I love that she's featured and highlighting artists we talked about maybe me putting some clutches there, some prints, some other goodies. So if you are in Seattle, okay, I'm really thinking about having my work at different like markets and stuff around Seattle, especially since I'm not gonna be out at festivals and shows and stuff. At least my artwork can be up at different like boutiques and pop-ups and markets and um and i'm gonna have some of the candles up at mohai at the at the museum malika was saying how she just like loved my hustle like i'll be out here grinding it's that shy town blood for real y'all but yeah this year we are stepping into a whole different energy and that's just yeah we not even about to be on that grind mode no more y'all and not on no lazy shit like i know i be kind of going back and forth like oh girl are you being lazy like no you actually being strategic i'm letting myself reap the benefits of all the seeds that i've sown i've sowed so many seeds y'all like your girl has put in so much work and so now i'm just <sighs> i'm taking a moment to create and that's what i'm really excited to do and yeah i'm just i'm just so grateful for my supporters i'm so grateful for my community that has allowed me the opportunity to be able to do that you know and actually i am planning a break coming up soon y'all it's gonna be a planned youtube break so if you made it all the way to the end of this video then you get the update that i am gonna be taking a break from youtube as well um in june nothing bad nothing crazy your girl feeling good okay i'm just being strategic about my rest time and knowing that i want to be on this platform for a very long time so i'm thinking about how do i make this a long-term and sustainable process for myself where i'm not being burnt out or overdoing it or just trying to keep up with the schedule and algorithms it's like yeah girl you about to be on youtube for years settle in let your community settle in and yeah so i'm excited to bring some new videos to y'all in the future but just know june that's your girl birthday month gemini okay i'm gonna be taking a break from youtube um in june but y'all should definitely keep up with me on my newsletter because i'm gonna still be sending out newsletters and keeping folks in the loop um i'm not gone quite yet okay but if you made it this far to the video thank you thank you so much thank you so much to my patrons they are truly making this possible for me and yeah i'm just literally about to do what my patrons are supporting me to do they supported me to paint so your girl about the paint so thank y'all so much or is it on this side oh your girl be forgetting whatever however you do it thank you so much and remember if you like this video like it and i will see you all next week peace out